You can't play DJ Hero just by staring at it. You've got to mix it up with the DJ Hero turntable. Check this thing out. It's the most useless thing imaginable, yet it's actually very cool. That's me using it during the DJ Hero review, mixing up some Daft Punk, or at least pushing buttons, pretending that I'm doing so. It's not really the same size as an actual turntable. And to demonstrate, since there's Beastie Boys in the game, I'll pull out a Beastie Boys LP and place that on top here. Uh, you're not really supposed to actually do this, even though it looks like you can, because... Well, for one thing, it really doesn't fit. You can't get at the buttons with a giant record sitting on top of it, and there's no arm with a needle to even play the record. In fact, the thing isn't even motorized. You'd have to sit there and manually turn the thing. So don't try this at home. But do try playing DJ Hero at home, because it's a great game, and this is a really cool accessory. Most of the time that you're playing DJ Hero, you'll actually keep your fingers on these buttons here and, and move them back and forth when you want to scratch. They give you a bit of a, uh, I don't know what you would call this, it just reminds me of the old Technics turntables that we used to have on the radio station back in uh, my college days. You can kind of grab the side of it with your thumb and use that to, to grip it. Go from a different angle here. There we go. So you'd hold in the buttons, and if you look closely at the buttons, you'll see they're actually textured on the inside and concave, so your fingers sit down into them so that you can grip it and actually use it to slide the turntable back and forth without your fingers sliding off of a slippery, slick button. So very well designed. It says DJ Hero right on the front, and it even has a fake little texture on there like a, like a real record player. Over here, you'll find your controls for the video game console. This is the Xbox 360 one, so it's got a little Xbox 360 thing. There's your D-pad, back start, and your normal buttons. And there's the connect thing, so it will connect to your Xbox 360. Down here's the crossfader. This thing's actually very tough to use quickly, because you have to slam it over there and get it right back into the middle. It's hard to tell here but it does catch in the middle, like a real crossfader would do. At least that's what I think a real crossfader would do. It's been a few years since I've used one, but this is, seems fairly well built. I mean, you really slam this thing during gameplay, and uh, I've played uh, the game quite a bit and have no problems with this. This is your Euphoria button here. That will start blinking red when Euphoria comes on the game. That's like star power in Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, they call it Euphoria. You can press that. And here's the little effects knob, which turns back and forth, creating effects, earning you extra points. One of the things that I like about the DJ Hero turntable from the design standpoint is that the plastic is textured. So it doesn't get full of fingerprints just by playing with the thing. You know, a lot of video game hardware, like the Guitar Hero 3 guitar, for example, they're, they're, they're shiny piano gloss black plastic, so they just get full of fingerprints and looks sloppy and messy all the time. This thing doesn't really have that problem. It looks very neat. It's a very well-designed turntable. And let's take a look underneath it, because one of the nice features about this is that it sticks to the table. It's got big rubber pads underneath it, and it, you need this thing to stay firm because you're going to be moving it around a lot. And you don't want this sliding all over the coffee table. That's how a real DJ does it. On the back of the turntable, here's the rubber feet that I was talking about, keeping this thing firm and non-slip on the table. Some other rubber feet over here. Uses two AA batteries. Mine came with two AA batteries in the DJ Hero uh, giant box with the game and the turntable. And you can also unhook that part of it for travel, if you really want to do that, which you don't need to. That's a pretty slick controller. Let's take a look at some gameplay that I recorded during 
the review of the DJ Hero video game showing you what this thing actually looks like in action because it's once you start playing with it it's very intuitive very cool and if you play Guitar Hero or Rock Band or any of the other music games you'll pick this up right away it's actually not that complicated although some of the songs especially in the harder difficulty are extremely complicated unless you're like a real DJ I don't know maybe if you're Mixmaster Mike or something you'll have no problem with it